Well, we're at St Augustine's Church, which is where Barling uh, was a parishioner, and it's also right. where his funeral was held, I think. Was, yes, wasn't, that's right, wasn't yeah, it? absolutely, yeah. So, uh, Gilbert Barling was a local resident, um, and actually he was our first chairman, and instrumental in the, in the setting up of Birmingham Civic Society, and a lot of our earlier projects as well. Yeah, so I think the ceremony is about to begin, so should we go and have a look? Yeah. The congregation was told that Gilbert was Vice-Chancellor of the University of Birmingham for 20 years, he was a professor of surgery, and during the 1920s he took a lead role in the launching a scheme which ultimately established the hospital teaching centre and a medical school. At the outbreak of the First World War, he was 59, and he joined the Royal Army Medical Corps, acting as a consulting surgeon at the rank of Colonel on the Western Front, and he was later awarded a CBE for his work. The plaque was unveiled by the Lord Mayor and Joan Woodward, Gilbert Barling's granddaughter. He would be absolutely, to use common phrase now, chuffed to think that people remembered him in that way. And he, that it's the Civic Society is just right for him because he threw himself into everything to do with the city. And especially he was very friendly and had a close relationship with Joe, as he referred to him as the Lord Mayor, Joseph Chamberlain. And I think he had a big bearing on what Joseph did in choosing to get clean water for the city. After the event, the plaque was soon put up on the wall at the place where Barling lived, here at Manor Road in Edgebaston, just off the Hagley Road. This is Norman Bartlett for May TV News in Edgebaston.